On April 29, 1945, soldiers from the 157th Infantry Regiment, 45th Infantry Division, made their way through the woods on orders to liberate a small prisoner camp. Soon they would learn of the horror that is called Dachau. Nazi SS soldiers killed a documented 32,000 people and thousands more undocumented deaths occurred. Today at the Dachau Concentration Camp Memorial Site, thousands gathered to commemorate the liberation of the camp 70 years later. Jack Adler attended the ceremony. He was a victim of the Holocaust and describes the horrible conditions. The day, every daily food ration consisted of a slice of bread and a bowl of soup. People were dying from malnutrition, disease by the thousands. People were taken out to extermination camps, concentration camps by the thousands. Jack lost his entire family, mother, father, and two siblings in the Holocaust. He was at many concentration camps, including the infamous Auschwitz, before transferring to Dachau. After he was liberated, he moved to the United States and joined the army, serving in the Korean War. When I went into the army, they had a draft. And I, and I could have gotten an exemption because if you were in college, you could have gotten it. But I want to say, the only way I could say thank you is serve in the service. Guardsmen from two states, Colorado and Oklahoma, joined together in the ceremony at a wreath laying. The two states share the liberating unit's lineage. Major General Robbie Asher, the adjutant general for Oklahoma, says we must never forget. I think it was important that we were here today in the celebration we went through in the ceremony. The uh, country of Germany has recognized that Dachau and many other concentration camps across the country of Germany were wrong. And they've recognized that. And while they can't right that wrong, they want to make sure that the world knows of that wrong so it is never repeated. Reporting for the Oklahoma National Guard from Dachau, Germany, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Christopher Bruce.